first time. Are you kind of looking forward to this day or dreading it a little bit? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't... A little bit of both. Uh huh. I'm nervous about what I was gonna say. But now that I'm here, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. And you, you had such a, a big role in, in the spring. Um, do you feel any pressure on yourself? You know, now come out and you know competing for starting job. Uh, I mean, you know, there's a little pressure there, but I'm trying to just keep it football. But at the end of the day, we saw you do a lot of running in, in the spring. I mean, tell us a little bit about what you feel like you bring to this offense or this team. Um, I, I mean, one thing I, I bring is excitement, a little energy when it comes to being on the field. I'm confident in my abilities and what I can do out there. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that, yeah, that's, that's it. What's your biggest concern? I'm trying to leave my concern, I'm not trying to, I'm just focusing on what I have to do. I mean, if I focus on the negative, I'm pretty sure it'll come out. What's it been like you the past few months, you know, seeing all the things written about you, seeing all the headlines and not talking to, not being able to talk to media, what's that been like for you? Seeing all the things written about me? Um, I don't read about myself, because at the end of the day, it's pointless. There's nobody really knows what's going on the inside but me and the coach. So I just focus on what I have to do and what they're telling me, because all the other stuff is just outside noise that, that, that could hinder me. What's so Coach Anderson like? It's Coach Anderson like, he's, he's a great coach. And he really uh, caters to the needs of his players, and, and he, gets the, he gets it done. At the end of the day, he gets it done. Can you give me an example of catering to the needs of his players? I mean, he, he came into this program and brought me in, and, and we asked me to clean to He gets his clean for us. And he's strict. He, 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 he's hard on us, but he, he's a great coach. Every, he, he, he gets us what we need in terms of uniforms, Cleave or something that we need money or, or not money, but like, like you know I mean, if we're, if we're like struggling, we go talk to coach. We talk about it. He's cool. We saw you have a lot of acrobatic plays in the spring, especially the spring game. <laughs> do you some? Do you feel like you know that's just how you need to play, or do you think sometimes you have to dial it back a little bit? I mean, some people play how they play. I mean, some people that's how they play. You look at me on the field. I mean, I'm not trying to be anything. I'm not. I'm on the field. I'm playing football. That's what I do on the field. That's me playing in terms of. Me. I mean, I'm not trying to do anything extra. That's just how I play. When you came here uh, last winter and rolled in school early, did you expect to be in this position where you know you have a yeah. good chance to win? Yeah, I mean, yeah, any, any school I, was, I, was, I sat down with my parents, and any school I, I attended, I planned on going in and, and, and trying to compete for the job. Because if not, why? I don't, I don't, what's the point? You know? yeah. What was something you were trying to improve on? You know, throughout the summer? Uh, everything, every aspect of my game, I was trying to improve on. And I think that's how it should be. Every aspect of my game, I, I need to improve on. I mean, people people say oh, this, that, but yeah, everything. I need to improve on everything in my game. I'm young, and I got a lot of things to improve on. So I, I, I hit the field and I work hard. So. Obviously, a huge part of being quarterback is having to trust your teammates. How have you tried to kind of build that over the past you know few months since you've been on campus? Um, just being approachable and approaching them. And, and just, just kind of making myself available, like off the field and on the field. You know, what I mean, I think that's a big, a big thing in terms of, you know, what I mean, them beginning to trust you or, or, or build a relationship with your teammates is, is, is being, is being a brother in terms of, of how you're approachable and how you treat each other. So, yeah. So you walked out of graduation. What was that like? I mean, you know, been here for a couple months and go back and see all your high school friends again. <laughs> it made me realize I didn't really miss anything. <laughs> it made me realize I didn't miss anything and that I made the right decision to come early and compete. Because at the end of the day, that's this is what I, I've been striving for my whole life. How's it been with the other quarterbacks? I know you're all competing for the job, but uh, they say that, you know they've all enjoyed working with you. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're all cool. I mean, uh, you kind of have to be in the film room to know, but it's it's cool. I mean, we're all really good friends, and we all help each other out. If we have something that the other person don't know, we enlighten them. It's, it's overall. We work good together. What's it kind of like being part of a new beginning here at Oregon State? New coaching staff and a lot of new players. Do you like that aspect of it? I mean, I'm, a, I'm, I'm new in terms of college, so for me, it's just like everything. I can't really, I wasn't here with the old coaching staff, but I mean, it's, so far the experience for me has been great. I mean, there hasn't been one thing that I've just sat and frowned upon and just like shake my head. Nah, everything, I, everything here has, has, is, is, is the way I feel it should be. I wouldn't change anything here. How's the transition been in the classroom? Transition? That's probably the, the, the hardest transition for me is, is the classroom. I mean, the, the work is, is is actually a lot more the workload than high school. But 
I mean, the, the, being a student athlete, I mean, it, it really helps. We have, we have tutors there available for us. So as long as you work hard in there and, and, and really just grind in the classroom, you, you'll be fine. Seth, can you go through the sequence of events for you to come here? You were committed to San Jose State, right? Yeah. So how did it work out that you ended up here? Um, it was kind of like, it was God. I mean, I, I believe that, you know, I believe in God. And I, it, for me, it was a God thing because, you know I mean, some things was changing over there at, at the school I was committed to. And uh, Coach Baldwin, they called me and it was just like, I just did it. Did you feel like even maybe at the time you were committed there, there was a part of you that wanted to prove that you could play at this level, Pac-12? I mean, there's a lot, yeah, I mean, now that I'm here, yes, but when I was committed, I can't say that. Mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, I mean, I mean, now that I'm here, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very happy with my decision. Coming to this camp, 1A and 1B, but a lot of people saying that you're the easy favorite. Do you kind of have that mindset that maybe this is your job to lose, maybe? No, not at all. It's my job. It's nobody's job. It's out there. I talked to Cole. We're competing. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? The fall camp is going to determine who's on the field. And so I can't say one way or the other. But when it's game time and whoever's number is out there is going to take a snap. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Seth, do you play with a reckless man and you like to run? Coach Anderson wants to make sure to keep you healthy through the season. Has he talked to you much about that, about decision making? when to take off and when to throw? Uh, in terms of when to take off and when to throw, no. I mean, uh, they. in terms of my decision making, when to take off, when to throw, so far that's been on me. But they're, when to slide, that's that's one thing they've been talking about, taking that calculated risk in terms of when I run the football mm -hmm. and, and the contact I, I can or shouldn't take. Then that, that's when they start telling me to slide or, or protect my body because they say if I do play, then you need for 12 games not. <laughs> what did you focus on this summer? What did I focus on? Like I said earlier, all aspects of my game. I mean, everything. I mean, the play, but I just, just going through and, and just trying to work on every little thing I can to just give me the upper hand in terms of going into this fall camp and knowing the plays and, and, and trying to execute them to the best of my ability. So I hit the, I hit, I hit the off screen and I try to do that. Are you prepared to possibly trade snaps if it comes down to it this season? Yeah, I'm prepared to do whatever coach is going to tell me. And then today, that's all I can do. I'm, I'm a player. And then the coaches, they tell me what to do. You seem kind of unwanted about the challenge of being a true freshman starter in the Pac-12. How do you feel about that? I mean, there haven't been too many quarterbacks over the years that have done that. Yeah, I feel like you don't have to take a step on the field either as a freshman, a sophomore, a junior. Your first step on the field is going to be your first step on the field. Uh, I, taking my first step on the field, the first game of the year, it don't bother me. It's like, I'm ready to go. You know, I'm not scared me. What kinds of stuff did you do over the summer to build chemistry with, with your teammates? I mean, in terms of chemistry, I mean, everything from throwing the football with him or just going to the lake with him and just hanging with him, talking to him, getting to know them, and them getting to know me and how I talk, how they talk, everything. I, mean, I think it's just overall communication, you know. Which lake do you guys do you guys go to? Yeah, I think it was your Triangle Lake. Oh, yeah. I think that was, we went to the old river over here. We're still not too sure about all the places. Oh, yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it was a geography class, I probably failed. <laughs> Seth, did you consider yourself a natural leader? Natural leader? Yeah, I'd like to say I'm a natural leader. So far, everywhere I've gone, I've done a good job at winning. I plan on doing the same with coaches. Yeah, I mean, Obviously, as you get older, you know, you learn new things, and I'm, I'm, I'm willing to learn from my older guys and also willing to take on a leadership role. Mm -hmm. So in terms of being a leader, yeah, I mean, I'm, re I'm ready to, to lead to my ability to where coaches want me to lead, whether that may be, you know what I mean, being vocal, which, you know what I mean, you, might ha you have to be as a quarterback, or, or just, you know what I mean, just playing and going out and just you know, being, a, being an example. I'm, I'm just ready to take whatever role coaches say. How would you guys describe?